Six commentators, five hours, four people trying to talk over each other all at one time, three eras, two hedgehogs, one epic adventure. It's the Sonic Generations commentary. <laughs> well played. Well you know played. what? With that, I don't really need to introduce the video. <laughs> I found that, that, that marketing line extremely cheesy, by the way. I just had to be funny. <laughs> cheesy so, is good with Sonic. I like cheesy yeah, in my Sonic. Yeah, I like that. I, well, I, I get it, because it was like, it was so over the top. I loved it. Oh, hi, Classic really Sonic. What are you doing here? You can't take Sonic seriously, because then you get Shadow the Hedgehog at Sonic 06. <laughs> was Sonic 06 taking itself seriously? I really couldn't tell whether or not. It was trying to. Please! <laughs> That's what so, makes it so sad. <laughs> right, oh, first, you're turning Laura Bailey off. Don't you want to hear that you poor yeah. voice? Not Catherine. Ladies and gentlemen, to the Branch Crash Commentaries, Commentary of Sonic Generations, because we love you guys, and we just can't shut the fuck up about Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> 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 but you're not, we're not going to hear Hupo. <laughs> fuck you. Press the A button to jump, the control pad to move, your lungs to breathe, your legs to walk, your hands to use the controller. <laughs> You are a blue anthropomorphic hedgehog. Your name is Sonic. <laughs> I, this is I, Green I, Hill Zone. You've seen it 20 times. Uh, I actually, I actually I have a question about the title screen. At, at any point, does the title screen get filled with color? No. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. Okay. Well, it's funny because when you boot up the game, the game goes straight to the title screen. You actually have to wait for the title screen to pass to get that intro video. So I had to edit in that bit in. <laughs> Yeah, I was wondering that because I've never seen that intro video before. So I was like, uh, was this an Xbox 360 thing? Because I had the PC version. Well, you know, on the flip side, I kind of appreciate that because, you know, I turn on, like, the same game, like, six times in a single day because I'm obsessive like that. And, you know, having to wait through logos and skip through intros every single time gets a little bit tedious. What's that, Johnny? You got four achievements in one run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are a bro. superior man to me. I only got three. I was a nanosecond off for the one minute achievement. Who doesn't get the yes rank on their first try, though? Honestly. <laughs> well, considering we've had the demo twice and played this level to death. No, I mean, even non demo players. I gave this to my cousin, and he got an S rank, and he's never played this before. S rank is. Might... Go ahead. I bet my nine year old little brother could get an S rank on that on his first try. It's uh. piss easy. With a Genesis I, controller. <laughs> you I weren't even playing the Sonic. game. Classic Sonic hasn't encountered enough god monsters yet to have it drilled into his head that Let's loud that loud noise equals call to duty. Again. It's the Clock King. Jesus Christ. This isn't Batman. Literal. This isn't Batman FTA. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not Batman. Batman's a scientist. <laughs> the in, the in the shape of their face. The confetti was three seconds late. Worst birthday party ever. Who invited Charmy B? Seriously. No one likes you, Charmy. Go away. You know, like, nobody like, nobody like, actually I invited Charmy. He just showed <laughs> just up. To, I mean, like, the fact, the, fact that, the fact that Blaze is there kind of doesn't make sense in the story, but no one cares about that. The fact that Charmy's there just is just stupid. Who the fuck can invite <laughs> that kid? Seriously. Adventure, did Blaze ever go back to her dimension? I'm trying to remember. No, no, wait, who, Sonic Rush Adventure no. took place in Blaze's dimension. dimension yeah. Sonic went back, okay. Hey, hey, Blaze, Blaze, aren't you supposed to be guarding emeralds? And for that matter, Knuckles, why are you here? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Have you forgotten your duties? <laughs> sure, you forgot about their duties it's Sonic a special Adventure. occasion, guys. It's Sonic's birthday. Surely, what's, at this point, Sonic though, Adventure that, that 2 when 06 is an excuse. <laughs> Meanwhile, Blip, meanwhile, Mighty the Armadillo and Bean the Dynamo are still sitting in that bar. <laughs> Fuck Sega. Oh, no, go back there. The, the, my favorite bit of discussion is when, when, when Knuckles loses his grip, he knocks Amy off the table. <laughs> Which I, I always was an error. It's almost like Knuckles is like going like, bitch, if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. <laughs> Here, Sonic, I'll do you a favor before I die. <laughs> <laughs> Now, something that doesn't make sense to me is how did Sonic end up in wherever this place is? Um, because... Yeah, the time meter is just obliterating all of time and space. Well, here's the thing, though. Unless... I, I'm just going to assume Eggman deliberately... Oh, I'm sorry. Spoiler alert. Uh, I'm just going to assume he deliberately <laughs> planted that way. Because, it, you know, the, it, this begs the question, why isn't Sonic petrified like every other character in this world? 
Hmm. Because that would make sense. <laughs> well, Eggman doesn't do sense. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, it's a dream. <laughs> no. I always like to go back to uh, Sonic Unleashed excuse where Dr. Eggman's like, where's the fun in taking over the world without any challenge? <laughs> you'd think by this point you'd be sick of Sonic kicking his ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 20 years. Well, if you're, if yeah, if you're don't even to, get the art of the, the Arch yeah, comic you, and Eggman's well, active you, trip. Well, if you go through, if you go to Dr. Eggman's bedroom, you open his closet, you see a shrine to Dr. Wildly. <laughs> and he's a fan of his <laughs> Never give up, never surrender. <laughs> I became a doctor thanks to you, Wiley. <laughs> And, you know, after 20 years of learning from the best, Eggman finally gets his place as the final boss of every game back. <laughs> Eat that, Bowser. I can do it, too. <laughs> well, Bowser's been the final boss in every game ever. Well, except the Paper Mario ones, but you get my point. No, he was the final boss in Paper Mario 1. Really? Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. And he was the second to last final boss of Paper Mario 2. Yeah, but I mean, granted, the, he had no point in the story whatsoever. He was there just to let Grotus get away, but still. Was anyone else, at, at, at this point, when he, when, he, when he actually played the full game for the first time, was anyone else not, not, not sick of Green Hill, but was just like, I have to play this level one more time, just let me get the fucking chemical plant? Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> um, we all played the demo to death. Not me, because I was patient enough to hover here and get all the red rings in Green Hill before I even touched Chemical Plant. Which just shows how <laughs> obsessively kleptomaniac I am sometimes. Well, I mean, I don't have a problem with Green Hill, the level design itself. It's just that the level motif has been used to death. But the thing is, I can't think of another Sonic 1 level that they would use, because really, I, yeah. I think everyone would be pissed off if they chose something else. It's I like, mean, I understand everyone... why it's in the game, but yeah. like... I've seen Green Hill so many times that it doesn't do anything for me, so whatever. Now, you know, if they wanted to be Mavericks, they could have gone 8-bit and used Bridge Zone. I, I think a lot of people would have appreciated at least I the would have, uh, Personally, Jungle's I would have liked a little more of, you know, a, a bit of uh, Angel Island thematics. Mm. Which was, you know, more jungle than <laughs> more on fire. Board hills. <laughs> well, they were just put in some of the Emerald Hill stuff, like the Corkscrew thing. Yeah. But you know, we did sort of pick up pick the levels when they pulled us for them. So yeah, but where's my coconut throwing monkeys? <laughs> this isn't even in the game. I just realized. Where's my labyrinth zone? <laughs> well, coconuts is in the game in a sense because he's the cop speeder. But Bobo zone for the win. Oh hi, ah, Tails. Tails. You were petrified for all of three minutes. Tails got his texture back. This is cause for celebration. Thanks, Sonic. We're on our way to restoring the budget. <laughs> no, Sonic just wanted to dip Blob 3 really badly. <laughs> Alright, you know what I what really pissed me off about this scene? This right here. We cut from one cutscene straight to another. Mm. In the same exact location, <laughs> even. <laughs> well, let's stop the <laughs> I love, I know, just to go back to I, I love how nonchalant Sonic is after Terry basically says he's been scarred for life. Thanks for what just happened. He pretty much just crosses his arm and nods like, yeah, what, whatever, mate. Get well, considering what Sonic did to him and Tails abuse and invent in Sonic 2. Love the Secret Rings reference there, by the way. Yes, love it. Secret Which, Rings know, is canon. If Secret, Rings is, if Secret Rings is canon, that kind of means that Black Knight is also canon. Well, I would have liked a Black Knight level. Well, you know, love well, Black, Black Knight sort of hinted it. during the credits that it came after Unleashed. Sort yeah. of. Why does Sonic keep finding these demonic storybooks that keep no, I love, <laughs> I love here how, how classic Sonic is just completely unconcerned about the whole situation. He just has this stupid shit eating grin on his face. Well, to, answer, to, to answer your I question, Clement, Sonic rents his uh, books from the library in Ghostbusters. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't had Sonic and the Necr Necronomicon yet. <laughs> 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 That'd be hilarious. Sonic and the Tales of the Crypt. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic oh, and the Spider-Man trade paperback collection. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, chemical. Oh, chemical plant. This I level. This level. You can attack enemies by jumping. Thank you, Koopo. <laughs> <laughs> this, level, this level is actually surprisingly huge in terms of alternate paths when you compare it to like Green Hill Zone. 
Well, Green Hell Zone is, like, almost exclusively tutorial. This is where you actually start doing shit. Yeah, I know, oh. but you know, people were complaining about the demo, about even Classic Sonic's level being relatively small. So I'm glad the f that, that, that levels that came after it really expanded on the multiple pads thing, especially in modern Sonic stages. Actually, you want I want to um, point out something. When you're playing uh, in modern Chemical Plant, uh, the um, the enemies that shoot the projectiles, I forgot their names, the one that cling on the walls and ceilings is the one I just killed, actually. Spiny. Uh, Spider? Yeah, Spiny's. When you boost into them with modern Sonic, they actually do get a sad face for a split second before exploding. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Yeah. I'm gonna they, die. And I felt so bad for the fucker after that. The attention to detail in, in, in this game is, is like second to none in terms of our previous Sonic games. They really just, just put so much effort into it. It's, it's all awesome. yeah, Look at that background. You know something that pissed me off though? They have flicky models and shit because the statue mo because the statue room has them. It's like the last trophy you unlock if you go through the password list. Um, but but they didn't include s flickies that pop out of the um, the r the badniks in the classic stages. Right? Yeah, they're in the roboticizer missions where you have to like free them all from the capsules and stuff. Uh, but like, like, if they have models, why not use them for that? It's kind of disappointing. Maybe Eggman find out that hamster power isn't the best way to power his robots. <laughs> We're going back to Sonic 2 era, where he actually did think that, so... And, you know, really, even even Sonic Adventure ha had had animals popping out of its robots. They were still in Adventure 2, as well, in, like, yeah, the three when, levels. Yeah, when you actually fought the Badniks on a very rare occasion that you did, uh, animals popped out of them, yes. Did, 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 uh, did anyone else find that Classic's jump was slightly gimped? Like, it, wasn't, it, it didn't reach as long as you kind of expected to. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's a very, very like a bunch of times. I would, I, I, you know, I know it's it, you. You shouldn't, you know, really compare it to the classics. But a bunch of times, I would, I would, you know, try and jump. I'd fail, and I'd be thinking, if if, if this was in like the real chemical plant, I would have made that jump easily. Yes. Yeah. Like, it, 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 a little it's bit. Things that only throws you off if you're a big player of the classics, like we are. Yeah. You get it's it, not you, the same, it's but I've got much, much better than Sonic Four, at least. By the way, I want to point this out. Very cool thing. Those two, like, pads you can see twisting around the sides at the beginning there, you can actually jump on those and take alternate routes. It's actually very surprising considering... There's no red rings there, either. No, there's one onto the one to the right, I think. To the left. It's the left one. Left. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I... To the left. To the left Damn it. Right. <laughs> it. It's just really surprising considering how Unleashed played, where everything was basically a tunnel. Yeah. Oh, another thing about the... About, about the um, the uh, the twisty little pathway there. You can actually jump from one pathway to another to another at any point because of the way the planes work. Like you can jump off a uh, off a uh, off uh, a hillside on one of them and land on the other if your timing's right. Well, I like I that say, too because it makes yeah. it easier to get to the ultimate path. I would say this is probably my favorite modern remix in the entire game. I fucking love this track so much. Oh yeah. This is probably tied with Rooftop Run and uh, City Escape for my favorite modern remixes. I've had this. I, I've had this in my car because as soon as the um, you know, the, the soundtrack, came out. yeah, I just I just burnt a CD and whenever I drive, I just pl I just blast out Modern Chemical Plant. Just for, for, the, for the past week, I've just had dun, dun, dun. Like Actually, that's a uh, fun fact with the uh, that little uh, the tube sliding section there. If you're going really fucking fast with the boost, Sonic will launch high enough to clip through the tower before doing the free fall. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it like six times <laughs> through my playthroughs. Have you gotten the achievement for getting through Chemical Plant without touching the water? Yeah, it's not hard. Uh, no, I haven't yet. I have I have yet to take in. It's the really good. It's really line. just making that top jump. Yeah. I like the, I like the platform ramps that actually like uh like vault you upward, launch you upward. It's a nice little difference. I feel like Chemical Plant does the best job at making the um at taking the sort of level gimmicks from the classic and sort of updating them to modern. If yeah. that makes any sense. 
Yeah. This yeah. this whole section when the plant kind of explodes, I thought was so visually amazing. It just blew me away. No fucking. Even though there's no real reason for it to be exploding, but it looks pretty enough. You know? <laughs> it's it, it, it's it's that chemical plant directed by Michael Bay. It's explosions for no fucking reason. <laughs> and the and camera's cam messed up. <laughs> and the camera's exactly. messed up. For some reason. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> explosions and crappy camera work. Watch me, Michael Bay. <laughs> yeah. Sonic Two: Revenge of the Spiny. Does, and Sonic just doesn't even notice. Cool guys don't look at explosions. They blow things up and then walk away. For the, for the, for the record, the people who haven't played this, the camera is supposed to be behind Sonic during that entire sequence, but it just glitched out of its... Glitched out, and now we get this. Get Sonic 3D Blast. <laughs> surely, surely these two would, would actually remember this. I, I mean, it's, it's the same as the first cut in the outside um, Green Hill, which, you know, Sonic says, I don't remember this. Even though, even though Chronicles is in, is in canon, in that game, both of them recognize where they are. Well, I mean, I can understand them Green not Hill. remembering it exactly, because these are some of the first things they did. But yeah. I guess they make some jokes let's, towards it. Okay, guys, let's, let's, this let's put this in context, okay? Green Hill was a level that you beat in like 30 seconds. Uh, chemical Plant in 45. <laughs> I, <laughs> and they haven't been here in years. <laughs> which, you remember that shit? I love, I, I love that pose of Amy. It looks like she's taking a shit when she's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really? I thought she was screaming. <laughs> you have a very creative mind there, FTA. She, she, when, when the time meter took her, she was behind the tree answering nature's call. <laughs> I love when classic Sonic goes up to Amy there, because like, she, she says, like, Oh, Sonic, you're looking younger every time I see you. <laughs> it's like, What's your what? secret? <laughs> yeah. Classic Sonic's She's just like, What? She's just like, Bitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> I save you how many times? Twice. <laughs> well, yeah, classic Sonic only saved her once. <laughs> I love it. Twice. Hey, guys, guys, guess what? The part's over. I know, but it's funny. Who fucking cares? <laughs> <laughs> we, we can actually hear each other now and have an actual conversation. We Let's see how long we can get this conversation going until they decide to cut us. Well, I'm in charge of the cutting, so. Okay. Yeah. Well, when are it's you still going, going to cut? Yep, it's still yeah. going. <laughs> I'm going to keep talking, and we're going to make this a 20-parter video, so, you know. <laughs> who, else, who, who, who else is really upset that Classic Knuckles didn't appear and start chuckling? They're, therefore, the uh, flight yeah. is song from SA1, which that proves that he been. actually does fucking chuckle. <laughs> that would have been a really, a really, uh, 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 well, one of the many, many missed opportunities, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Okay, I got a headache. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, cut the recording, damn it. <laughs>